So this question looks like a simplify question. Again, simplify questions are short. They're somewhere between one and three lines long and will contain either an equation or what we have here, an expression. So typically what we wanna do is just simplify whatever we've been provided. So in this case, the expression a over four plus b over three squared. Now, I, there's nothing I can simplify here inside the parentheses. I could expand this, um, which really is the only thing I can do. So a lot of students make the mistake of just distributing the exponent, and that's not exactly what you want to do here. What we want to do instead is to expand this and say, well, if a over 4 plus b over 3 squared, that means I have a over 4 plus b over 3 times a over 4 plus b over 3, right? I have two of them. That's what the square means. And from here, I can FOIL. So I can take my first term times my first term here. That will give me a, a squared over 16, right? A over 4 times A over 4. I can take my outer two terms here. That would give me an A, B over 12. I can take my two inner terms here. That would also give me a b over 12 when I multiply b over 3 plus a over 4. And lastly, I can multiply my two last terms, my b over 3 times my b over 3. And that would give me b squared over 9. So to combine these two together, I'm going to have my middle two terms here will turn into a 2ab over 12. And of course, my last term, there's no like term for that, so it stays b squared over 9. My first term remains a squared over 16. Now, my middle term can be reduced because I have this 2 that goes into itself once, and this 2 that goes into 12 six times. So what I'm left with is a squared over 16 plus a b over 6 plus b, b not 6, b squared over 9. There's more I could technically do here, but I see from my answer choices that these are not combined at all. There's no like, there's no common denominator being found to add them together. So this is going to be answer choice D.